Right, okay, so section B is it's a bit of a funny one again because section A and B, they really go together as one component. It's just section A is all of the research and then section B is really what, how you interpret that research to give yourself a to-do list, a criteria as it were, of things that you're going to make. So section B should consist of two things, a design brief that you write yourself and this is like a short summary of what your objective is. What are you hoping to achieve when you go out and start to design your product? And then the second part is a list of criterions. So almost like a to-do list or a bullet point list of products, of uh, things that your product should have, could have, and must have. And these should all be based on your research. Now this is a coursework folder, you're getting a GCSE for this. So there are some additional hoops to jump through and I'll talk to you about them now. So first of all, for the design brief, don't necessarily be too specific. Give yourself some room to adapt and change and be a bit more creative as you go through the process. So for example, rather than saying, I'm going to design a lunchbox to fit an apple, orange and banana in, because that's what my client eats every day for lunch, Really try to, at this point, try to reframe that problem and try to really think about what you're hoping to achieve. So you'd be bet better to say something like, I'm going to design a product that will protect food items when my client takes them to work. And now it doesn't have to be a lunch box, it can be a lunch bag or it could be something completely different. But it just gives you a bit more room to be creative and it gives you a bit more room to kind of manoeuvre through the process than if you're too rigid and too specific. Now the next thing to do are those criterions. And everything that you put here should be informed by your research. So if you're adding something in like my product must uh, consider sustainability. Well in section A I need to see that in your product analysis for example you've identified sustainability issues or perhaps your client in the questionnaire or your interview with the client they've identified sustainability as being a, a cause of concern or perhaps that's your problem in the first place. But I don't just want to see it appear as something you must do when there's no prior research to justify that decision. And so for the GCSE, what it should look like is my product must be able to protect a banana because my client has a banana every day for lunch. So you can see how you come up with your criterion, but then you also need to justify it using your research. You need to go back to that research and just kind of explain why it's there. Now for a good section B, I'd expect to see a design brief that's maybe two or three sentences and kind of concise, well written, that clearly sets out an agenda and is clearly informed by the research you've just done. And I'd expect to see maybe at least five or six criterions. Now some teachers they quite like it if you use Access FM or Cafe Q. So like with our product analysis, if you use those things as your criterion, so cost, What's the cost? How does it link to client? Aesthetics, how's it going to look? Why is that based on your mood board, for example? Function, what's it going to do? And how does that link to client? So that's a good basic place to start. If it, it, but again, for like those grade nine ones, uh, you shouldn't really necessarily use a, a, a pre-made table. It, you should just be able to interpret your research and come up with really meaningful criteriums on your own. So. If you struggle to know where to start, yeah, you can use those things to help scaffold it for yourself. Um, but for a really high grade, you should be free thinking at this point and you should be able to interpret your research and convert it into a to-do list of things to do. And so section A and B are 20 marks. And again, they're, they're divided into two 10 mark sections. And the reason is, is well, you can see it for yourself. Section B is not gonna be very good if section A is not very good so you can you can already see how that journey is going to go right so that's it for section b here's some examples and now we're going to go into section c